has taken down corrupt coppers with AC12. But Vicky McClure's crime-fighting days aren't over just yet. Uh, she's back in uniform for the new ITV series Trigger Points, uh, where she stars as bomb disposal operative Lana Washington. We're acting on intel. There's a bomb factory. On me! On me! My gut tells me we're dealing with sophisticated bombers. He knows how to move, knows how to behave like a firearms officer. It's an organised terrorist cell. I've got disposal, I need you to stay still for me, OK? You need to hurry! 50 seconds. No, 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 wait, 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 wait. wait. <sighs> he realise the bombers could be here, watching every move we make. And they'll call out times how we think, how we move, everything. You know they're attacking public sites in London. What the hell are the bombers getting military grade explosive? Someone knows something. Oh my god. Oh, and That's Vicky good. is joining us in the studio now. It looks so, so good. So trigger point, brand new. It looks so gripping. What would it, what was it about the script that got you involved straight away? Um, well, Jeb Mercurio, who produced it, who's producing it. You'd never it. say no to him anyway, would you? I mean, <laughs> you know, yeah. everything he touches turns to gold, doesn't mm -hmm. it? But also, yeah. he's a good friend, and I love working with people, you know, that I'm close to. And he sent me a text to say, would I have a look at it? And even just by the way he described it. So then we just took it through the normal channels, sent mm. it to my agent. And Daniel um, is a new writer. And I just love that. You know, yeah. Jed's supporting him through this scheme. Mm -hmm. And having somebody like Jed on your side is, is amazing. And mm. his writing is incredible. You know, it was a brand new story in a brand new world. Didn't really know anything about Expos at that point. Yeah. So I was discovering something completely different. And Lana just, you know, she's got so much going on as an actor. I was like, yeah, it's all there. All the backstory. All well, the, 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 yeah. because we've now we're watching telly in the evenings and it's starting to get promoed. You know, it's on mm -hmm. it's on Sunday. Yeah. We've done, I, we were just saying in the break that we've done all, all of the Sunday we're so far. It. Because yeah. Yeah. we've got Dancing on Ice. Mm -hmm. We'll start it off. A good yeah. Palmer Hospital. Mm -hmm. uh, Amanda was here a moment ago. And then you're finishing it off. Then you can nicely. go to bed. There we go. <laughs> Well, I don't know whether, back in I don't know whether Charlene's doing loose women today, but she might be doing the yeah. weather. Yes, so, you know, yes, sort of, she'll be doing the news. That's uh, doing it. the news and the weather. Right, so um, let's, have, let's uh, talk, talk about Lana, Lana Washington. Um, she was serving in uh, Afghanistan, yeah. um, and, uh, and she's now working with her partner, Joel. Yeah. Um, uh, they have this... I mean, it is, it's got to be the most extraordinary relationship because you're in such dangerous circumstances. Mm, yeah. I mean, we had two expos on set with us at all times, Joel and Paul. And, you know, the questions I'm asking them, because there's this talk of the long walk, which is, yeah. you know, going from where you are to the device and how that must feel, you know, mm. knowing that there's the potential for death at any yeah. point. Um, and you just can't really get your head around it. There's only so much that I can really understand that fear. Um, but just the way that they described it to us, you know, from a mental and a physical mm. and a professional capacity, having their expertise was, you know, exactly what we needed to try and put that into the show, yeah. as much as the artistic licence that we'll also use to... But well, also know, things that you don't, you don't think about at all. What's the one thing you wouldn't do if you were getting to a, a, a device <sighs> is to take yeah. your helmet off. I know, to take your helmet off because it could knock the device or it could impair your vision at any point and... When they said that to me, they went, well, you'd take your helmet off at that point. I went, what? what? They went, if, if that bomb's going off, it's not going to be... The helmet on or yeah, helmet off yeah. doesn't make any difference. Yeah, exactly. So... We've, got a, we've got a clip of you going towards a device, actually, right. here. Lana? Lana! Wait! Wait, watch! Watch what you're doing! What is she doing? Uh, a manual check. I mean... That is tense I'm stuff. in. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! 
That is tense stuff. I enjoy yes. watching you two watch yeah. Yeah. <laughs> We're just squirming on the sofa. I am going to love it so yeah. much. Oh, Honestly, it, does, it really does look so gripping. And quite a physical role as yeah. well, and which is great for you, a different challenge to take on. Yeah, I mean, Are you I'm doing your game. own stunts? Yeah, I mean, I, I, as much as I'll let you, there were certain things with COVID, especially the driving stuff, um, which I was gutted about. But, yeah. it, you know, the people that we have around us, and obviously there's going to be explosions in the show, mm -hmm. Um, the team, I mean, you know, what they do is incredible and the way that they keep everybody safe and that's paramount. So I felt completely safe to do things that I was allowed to do. Mm. Yeah. yeah, it was great, it was great. There, there, I think there are um, female expos in the army, but not yeah. currently in the Met. No, um, not that I'm aware of. I mean, if, you know, if anybody out there says otherwise, mm -hmm. I'd love to know, but as far as I'm aware, they're not. I mean, I always think that if this script was written 15 years ago, it would have been written for a man. Yeah. And that's what I love about yeah. it, is, yeah. you know, Daniel had me in mind for it from the beginning, which is amazing, but um, the fact that it's a woman in a man's world, I'm always up for that. So empowering, yeah. and it's so good to see. That's what we need more of. Yeah. For sure, it really, you really were, is. Uh, um, quite, and, and same, I think, all of us who are working on big productions, you're terrified about, because you're shooting and oh. COVID is around everywhere, you're terrified of taking it in. Yeah, mm. I know. Well, trigger point, it's funny, because from doing Line of Duty 6, Alex Ryder, trigger point to Without Sin, I mean, I've been back to back. It's like the pandemic's changed all the way through, yeah. so it's, like, loosened and then it's, you know... And it has, it's been a real challenge, because what... You know, one, you don't want to make anybody ill, and two, you don't want... You know, it affects people's jobs and, mm -hmm. and pay and all that kind of stuff. So I just stayed in. Did you? <laughs> For the entire time of Trigger Point, I didn't go out. I went out one night and had a blast, but that was that. And was what it. were you doing on that one night? I went to the GQ Awards. Did you? <laughs> <laughs> to give Adrian Dunbar a award, actually. So it's for a nice thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but then it turned out because the schedule had changed. I wasn't working the next day, so I might have gone to the after party. Oh, but yeah. I didn't get yes, you did. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> you were. Um, I, I wasn't really going to mention it very much, but you did mention it. So that yeah. sort of gi gives okay. me the lead into Line of Duty. <laughs> and funnily enough, it's not the direction you think I may go with this. OK. Um, uh, I want to show you this. <laughs> AC12 interview by Superintendent Hastings, D.I. Fleming, D.I. Arnold. On screen, I am reference LBD1. LBD1 is an email sent by your principal private secretary, Martin Reynolds, inviting more than 100 Downing Street staff to attend a party on the evening of May 20th, 2020. All the evidence I can see is that uh, people have stayed uh, within the rules. I can assure you, people have brought it to the attention of the police. Sir, did you breach said health protection regulations? All, all of that, as you know, is the subject of a, uh, a proper uh, investigation by Sue Gray. So I put it to you, can you confirm yeah. or deny that you knew that that was going on or you had some sort of involvement? I can't confirm or deny. Oh! Is that a no comment? It was really nice seeing Martin and Aidy again, though. I miss them. <laughs> I miss them both so much. <laughs> Um, I assume that, that if the script was there, if the idea from Jed was there, then you'd all say yes. And that's, I mean, I, you, know, oh, you, you said another... you don't know what's happening yet. So. Yeah, yeah, I'd love to go again. I mean, it would be weird, you know, when the day does come that I may we may never go again. Mm. Not to work with A.D. Martin and Jed would be really weird. We've done it for yeah. ten years. Yeah. I mean, it's... Yeah. Insane, really. Yeah, well, I hope that is the case. Yes. Uh, in the meantime, uh, Trigger Point is Sunday at 9 on ITV. Don't say I don't <gasps> give you anything because you did mention... Yes. Bill. We were in the you break. Legend. There you go. Thank you so much. There you are. Very welcome. I'm so happy. Right, thank you. You can, you can stay here. <laughs> right, put your feet up. <laughs> yeah, Judy Dench is on in a minute. Yeah. What? Yeah. Yeah. She's not actually oh, she's down, down the line. line. But, uh, yeah. I yeah, know. I know. About to freak out. <laughs> <laughs> so were we this morning. <laughs>